Hi everyone, Mahar Haddad here again. Today I'm going to do a new Cisco lab video and uh, I'm going to speak about the NTP, the Network Time uh, Protocol. So uh, this protocol is very important, uh, especially that when we want that uh, uh, all our clock on our routers and switches to be synchronized to an NTP server. So I'm not going to configure uh, the Cisco router as an NTP server because that's also possible that you can make in your network one router to be an NTP server and all the routers and switches that you have from Cisco will synchronize to that NTP server. That's also possible. But I'm going to show you how you can connect uh, the NTP protocol to an NTP server which is public on the internet then you will synchronize the clock of the router to that NTP server which is online on the internet then uh, in this case you have the uh, clock uh, synchronized on your router so I do have now only one router which is connected to the internet and that's it um, we have uh, actually to connect it to the internet because it's not yet configured so we have to connect it and then we have to configure it to um, synchronize with an NTP server which is available on the internet. We'll see where we can find those NTP servers and then in this case we are going to see if the uh, router will synchronize and will have the uh, clock uh, synchronized with that NTP server. So let's go directly and start with the lab. All right, so this is uh, my router. As I said, I don't have only one router and this router is now connected to, to the internet. I just need to configure it so it has internet on it. So uh, if you see, I don't have any configuration. If we say show IP interface brief, we can see that all their interfaces are down. So this interface, Fast Ethernet 0 over 0, is the one connected to the ISP and that's the one that I need to uh, make it uh, um, online. So I have to receive an IP from the DHCP server which is uh, the router of the ISP. So let's do that. So why we need to have internet on this router? Because as I said, this router needs to have its clock synchronized with a clock from an NTP server on the internet. So we should have internet on this router. So let's go to the configure terminal and I will go to the interface fast ethernet zero over zero. And over here I have to say IP address and I'm going to say that I want to receive the IP address from the DHCP server because the ISP router fetch to this router has the SCP uh, server uh, configured. So we make this one as the SCP client. And then enter, and then don't forget you have to say no shutdown. So by doing that, the interface will go up. Here we go. And in a moment, we should get an IP address from the uh, the SCP server of uh, the ISP router. Let's have a look. If I say do show IP interface brief, I can see that it has received an IP. So here we go, 192.168.40.129. So now, if I ping to a.a.a.8, .a .a .8, which is Google DNS, we can see that we do have reply. So the router is uh, now connected to the internet. Very good. Now, what I want to do is to check what is the clock now on the router. Show clock. And we'll see that this is the clock. Actually, this, is, uh, this clock is correct. It is on UTC time. That's correct. But now what I want to do, I just want to change this clock. I want to make it something different like a, a, to be a wrong clock and then I will uh, connect to the NTP server on the internet to see if we will receive the right clock from the NTP server. So let's change this clock. I will say clock set question mark. Let's do something like it is now time. Uh, let's whatever one and uh, it is uh, 3rd of uh, January for example uh, 2016. Okay, so this is a, uh, um, a wrong uh, clock, wrong uh, dates, and everything is wrong. But just uh, to um, uh, see when I connect to the NTP server that uh, the clock will be correct. So now if I say show clock, now we see that this clock now is uh, at 1 uh, uh, UTC time, January 3rd, 2016. All right, very good. So now we have to start doing the configuration. First thing I have to think of is to have the time zone. Remember uh, that uh, the router by uh, default is taking the UTC time, which is the GNT time. So I'm based in the Netherlands and uh, I would like to take the uh, time of uh, uh, Europe, uh, which is CET, the Central uh, Europe uh, time. So let's change the time zone. So if you are in another country, then uh, you can put the time zone of your country. 
So to do that, we have to go from here to the configure terminal. I have to say clock time zone. And now you can just put the time zone that you want. I just say the words CET and CET is a UTC plus one. So you can see you can put from minus 23 to 23. So it's plus one. So I'll just say one and then you make what you mark. You can put also zero if you want for the minutes, but I will just make it enter like now. So we have, uh, remember we set the time at uh, one. So that means now on CET it is two. Okay. So that's the time zone I have changed it. Now the second thing that I need to do is to find a, uh, a NTP server. Uh, which is online so my router will synchronize to that clock because if we do now show clock you see we are still on the wrong time so it is two um, at CET time so uh, that's a wrong time and also the date is wrong so how to find the public uh, NTP servers so in this case I need to go to the browser so let's uh, open the browser and uh, from the browser let's put it here and from the brother, we go to google.com. And uh, from here, I have to, you can just write NTP server, search for NTP server. And this is the most uh, known one, which is pool.ntp.org. So if you go to that website, now, uh, because of my IP, it has detected that I'm based in the Netherlands. So it has said, okay, for the Netherlands, you can uh, use uh, this uh, domain name, which is uh, nl.pool.ntp.org. Here, you in this website, you can have different uh, countries uh, for, so every country has an NTP server available. So what you can do, let's uh, take uh, this um, uh, pool. Let's take this one. Let's say this is the server. 0.nl.pool.ntp.org. So I'll make copy and uh, I just want to know what is the IP for that server. So all I can do here is just to say ping. So ping to that domain and then I can see that it is the IP. Very good. So I will copy this IP. So this is the IP of the server. Now what I can do I can come here again and now I have to go to configure terminal and then I will say NTP and then question mark and now you can say server and then here you have uh, you can put the host name if you have DNS on this router you can put the host name it works perfectly so that means the nl dot pool dot whatever you can write it or you can just put the NTP server IP address so then I will say here enter now by doing that that's all what you have to do to synchronize now this router with the NTP uh, server. So let's check if this is uh, working. So I say show NTP, show NTP, and then we have to use the status, for example. And you can see that it is synchronized. The clock is synchronized with this IP. Very good. So what uh, is the time that it has received here we go so you see this is the time which is the correct one we are going to see it in a moment if i say show ntp association then it also says that it is associated with this uh, server so that is excellent now if i say show clock here we go so you can see this is the time it's now updated to the right time that it is now uh, in, in uh, the Netherlands, so uh, it is uh, the exact time now, and it is using the time zone which I define it, which is CT. So you can see by doing that, you can now synchronize your router to have the right clock from a public NTP server. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. So uh, this is a nice way that you can synchronize your routers to the public uh, uh, NTP servers, and then uh, this works perfectly without any issue. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put a like on the, this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by the new videos that I will be uploading on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video and till next time.